Well, today's Sunday and it's the 17th of March 2023. It's St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day today. And uh, well, we're in uh, Santa Ponza. Santa Ponza uh, is a place where the, the Irish people congregate and it's a place where here in Mallorca they celebrate uh, St. Patrick's Day. And we've just had to park our car a little bit way out, so we're walking in and it's good to see some of the hotels open already. This is the Pionero Globales Hotel, and uh, that one's open. And we've just got now this uh, short walk down to the, uh, the front there. Just to show you across the road, because this is a supermarket right across the road. You need something. Just going to walk down here. Some hotels open, some not open. It's really early uh, for the season. But um, I think a few have opened just knowing that uh, it is St. Patrick's Day and uh, that's when really things start to kick off here in Santa Ponza. And those that are not open yet will be opening probably end of the month or uh, beginning next month, I would think. And uh, to coincide with that, you'll find that lots of the the bars and restaurants will be opening around about now. And the uh, St. Patrick's Day, something that uh, we've been involved with for many, many years. Uh, Anita's had the choir there. And uh, I've had the Leo's selling books usually and uh, raising money for local charities. Pool's closed, sitting by it. Oh, there's people sitting by the pool in there. Can't just a minute. What do you mean, can't? Oh, there's a. Yeah, maybe it opens up later on where the lifeguard appears. The gate's open. It's a bit early. I know it isn't actually. It's coming up to midday. So the hotel across the road's had a bit of a lick of paint. And there, there has been a lot of work going on in uh, Santa Ponza. There still is a lot of work going on in Santa Ponza. Some might be finished. Some might be not finished. So across the road, that's the Globales Playa Santa Ponza Hotel. If I swing around this way, This is the uh, Hotel Santa Ponza Park. And Mel was asking me to video here and see how this building was going. Well, maybe it's a bit higher than we thought. And uh, it's not going to do a lot for the rooms that had a view from there. We've now got a structure that I don't think is going to be finished. Sure. Still looks about a lot of work to be done there. And maybe the uh, if uh, if the work is going to be going on while you're here, the tour operator you've booked with really should contact you and say uh, let you know that there is going to be some disturbance, disruption, or some change to what you thought you were going to get. Certainly uh, in. Parmanova, the Castabonaires, people who are staying there have been told to expect uh, a little bit of noise because they're building next door. Oh, we'll see. Uh, plan to go down there sometime next week. I've got a chance and uh, have a look to see what the work's like. So cars are being diverted up this road and uh, the road the front is closed because of the fair that's on now for St. Patrick's Day. It doesn't look as big as usual. It's a little bit uh, smaller. So I'm not sure even if they're going to be having a parade. I've been trying to look for information on it and the only thing I eventually found was 
uh, the New York Daily Bulletin put um, a list of things that were happening. Uh, actually, see very much. We have got some stalls here. And this part of the road across the front is closed. And uh, it's a Sunday, so some shops are not open because it is on a Sunday. Stall for Anita. It's like the cacti special, specialists. Succulents and cacti. It's actually become quite warm today. In fact, there was quite a, quite a mist of fog almost. And uh, our friends were due to leave this morning and they uh, got to the airport and found they've got a four hour delay. Not sure what the delay was about, but uh, it was very foggy over Palmer. Their uh, plane hadn't arrived, possibly due to the amount of fog that there was. Some little cars for the children to play on. Good idea, haven't noticed it yet. Yeah, nice safe place. Now, I said the, uh, the stalls are very much curtailed because usually they went all the way around there, all the way to the other side, and uh, uh, there are no stalls there. In fact, there's barriers across. It's very much uh, a very much smaller market space. And the children used to love coming here and uh, speaking to all of the visitors to the island, selling their books and things. Doing some engraving there. Just have a quick look at the beach because it's changed since yesterday. Oh no, maybe not. The, uh, there were a lot of uh, barriers here uh, to protect the sand and those have now gone on this side. I can see that they're still on the other side a little bit further off. Huge pile of seaweed there that will be cleared in the next day or two. So there is a, a St. Patrick's theme, so there is the green and uh, you'll see lots of um, hats. I did put a green shirt on and Anita's, well, I think she's got her green on as well. And uh, we've, because we've had friends staying in Santa Ponce, we've been driving through the last couple of days and uh, we saw that they were trimming the trees, so all of the trees have now been trimmed and they were tidying everything up ready for the fair today. <laughs> Mrs. Harrison. Hello, Mrs. Harrison. Nice to see Liz. Liz, a former colleague, colleague of ours, Mrs. Harrison. Um, and now retired as we are, but a member of Anita's knitting group. Out for a little walk to see what's going on here in Santa Ponza. And, uh, she quite fancied this um, jumper, cardigan, until she saw the price. 98 euros for a cardigan. It's a bit pricey, I think. So she's asked Anita to knit one. <laughs> be a challenge. Hmm? 
Normally there is a St. Patrick's Day parade and uh, they come down here and they get lots and lots of people, um, not all Irish, um, try to have an Irish theme but there isn't always. But uh, it doesn't look as though that's going to happen today. And uh, the associations, different associations in the Calvia area used to have um, stalls. So we'll be looking out for those, things like the cancer care group that Anita's involved with, the lions that I'm sort of involved with and used to be involved with. <laughs> Rotary Club, all of those used to have stalls. Oh, I, I can see the cancer support group now out there. This is the cancer support group that uh, I need to help out with. In the, the knitting ladies do that a little bit. Just on the beach there you can see the fences that are there to protect the sand. Stop it blowing away. Across the road we've got some food stalls. Not sure whether we'll be allowed or I will be allowed to investigate those later. <laughs> Just behind the food stalls, you can see there's still a lot of construction work going on here in San Sponza. That's been going on for some weeks. If you've been watching the videos that we've been making over the past few months, um, that work's been going on since Christmas, if not before, I can't remember. But uh, you'll see it on some of the earlier videos of Santa Ponza, and uh, well, they're certainly not finished yet. I think that will be finished though before the main lot of tourists start to come. And then we've got more food trucks here. Maybe they'll make, make a, a little bit of money today, make it all worth their while. Strong smell of incense. All the roads around here have to be cut off so that you can see people to walk around. Pastry store there, got some pies, they're doing a booming trade. Quite often take one of them home. This is another stall up here doing pastries as well. Probably not today though. Very warm. I'm not surprised there are people out with t-shirts. They look nice. And this is for a school. So found of a lot of the fairs that we're going to. Schools are actually putting out stalls 
and it's partly to raise funds for trips and things that the schools are planning. So just down here, and some fun things for the children. Jump up and down. And that would be our normal walk, going along the walks there, right along the coast, really pretty, and a perfect day for it today. Uh, nice sunshine, nice and warm. Now you can see just how busy it is, and it's about midday now. And uh, I'm guessing it's going to get busy. This is going to be going on all through the afternoon. And uh, I'll just have a look up towards here. Uh, there's a roundabout at the top there, and uh, on the roundabout they've put the stage, uh, which is where the main entertainment's going to be. So we're going to have a little walk up there and uh, see what's going on.